Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the Angular UI demo for our video series restaurant table booking app. And a lot of people are asking about the Angular UI and we have already seen uh, many Azure services and API for our series. And this is the part one UI. Okay, I'm going to show you how this part one UI is going to look and followed by the video will come shortly. Right, so let's take a look what we did. So if you, if you, if you remember, this is the API that we developed. On top of what we developed, I developed two more endpoints and I'm going to show you how we're going to use it in our UI. All right, so we're going to use all these things, which is deployed in Azure Web Service, Web App. Right, so from here, we're going to build something and this is what the first part that you're going to see as part of our video series. And here, if you look at this, I've already deployed this to this website. Okay, so here is our template. If you've seen my previous video, from the regular Angular application to a beautiful bootstrap free template we used it and we got this nice UI right thanks to this template whoever has developed this uh, I have left their copyright below like if you look at this this is home this is abode this is menu so we have a routing implemented right we have all these things implemented and if you click on book a table it's going to give you a spinner and some data is getting loaded basically our Angular application is calling this endpoint to retry the data and we're going to see how this works great so the data loaded i have already created many restaurants that's why you're seeing this so if i look at this if i start pulling up this it will show you how many branches are there for this so these are the branches the moment i click the branch what we are going to do is we're going to call the third endpoint here Right, the first and two second endpoint is the first and second endpoint of this, and the third endpoint is we send the branch ID and we try to get what are the available booking options. So we have like four dates, uh, basically, eight should not come, uh, eight today is eight, so it is coming like that, right? So, and then the moment you click this, what it will show you is it will show you all the dining table details and whether it is available or not. See, this is grayed out, this is booked for the breakfast, it was booked. All these things are booked and there are something which is available see dinner on 8 is available which the table name is basically Donald Duck so what happens if I click this if I click this it's gonna bring up a nice UI it's gonna bring up a nice UI and now you need to fill up all this information basically because the first part doesn't have the authentication authorization we don't know who the user is it's a public user so we need to collect their information in order to send them email or do some uh, storage for their details right so that's why we collect this information later when we develop adb to see login and if the user tries to log in the information will be fetched we don't even show this ui which also we will see shortly so let's go ahead and fill up this so let's say user filled up this and then do a submit we have initiated the request it's processing and then the reservation is confirmed you see this reservation is confirmed now this is the first part we have already implemented routing spinner and many of the important things in this one and this video will come shortly and i hope you enjoy this video in the next video we will see how it will be for an employee from a restaurant perspective logs and see who have been booked and if the customer comes how they're going to check in Right, so the check-in process and all those booking strategy and all is going to change and until that time we can play around with this website we can do selection of this restaurant this branch id and all those things and give me a feedback how this looks if it looks nice definitely you should give me a comment and thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel and uh, there are a lot of good videos going to come and you'll enjoy this series thank you i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!